Hey folks, welcome to the Android Guy. I'm your host HK. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to protect your Wi-Fi from being misused by others by using a calculator. Wait, a calculator? Oh, just a second. How to hack your Wi-Fi by using a deodorant? A deodorant? Okay. Capsicum. What the? Where's my phone? Tell us. Ah, there it is. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to protect your own Wi-Fi from being misused by others. But before we get started, as mentioned in the title of this video, you will need a rooted phone or tablet for this to work. If your device is not rooted or if you don't know what root is, then check the links under the thumbs up button. And secondly, this video is about how to have full control over your own Wi-Fi network. That is how to control who is using your Wi-Fi and how to stop people at your home or at your work from misusing your valuable internet connection. And all that can be done directly from your Android device itself. And it's pretty simple. Let's get started. So in today's video, I'll be introducing you to this very useful app called as Wi-Fi Kill, through which you can have 100% control over your Wi-Fi network, which means you can control who is using your Wi-Fi and who you do not want to use your Wi-Fi. You can disconnect the Wi-Fi of any device that is connected through the network. This app is very useful in practical situations. Say your cousin or your roommate is using your Wi-Fi connection to download huge files and they are just wasting your data. Due to which not only your internet is slow, but you cannot tell them on the face to stop doing that. In those cases, this app is a lifesaver because the internet connection for them will stop and they'll have no idea what happened. So first of all, make sure that your Android phone or tablet is rooted. And second of all, you can download this app, Wi-Fi Kill, from the link in the description. So hit the first link in the description, download it on your Android device, install it and open it up. This app was once available on the Play Store, but they removed it after they realized the potential power of this app. Third and most importantly, make sure that the device on which you want to stop the internet, it can be a laptop, it can be an Android device, it can be a smart TV, any device, make sure that it is connected through the same Wi-Fi network on which your device is connected once you ensure that open up this app and hit on this play button over here it will start scanning for the number of devices connected across the network once the device starts scanning it will progressively start showing the number of devices connected across the network it will show the ip addresses or the manufacturer of the wi-fi antenna of the device so it does not matter if it's a laptop if it's a phone if it's a computer it will show the ip addresses of those devices so make sure that you know the ip addresses or at least you could be able to guess the ip addresses if there are multiple devices connected through the network now since only my phone is connected through the network i have one device over here now for demonstration purposes i'll be using my secondary phone as a victim and i'll try stopping the internet on this device anything which is connected through wi-fi through the same network can be stopped so just to show you guys i'll be playing a video on this one i'll be playing my latest video and on the top right corner as you can see here is the wi-fi data transfer meter it'll show you the amount of data being transferred so video is playing but if there are multiple devices on the network you can either stop the wi-fi for all the devices or you can select the specific device which you want by pointing out the ip addresses now here is my device ip i'll hit on that and at the bottom you'll have basically two options over here one is grab and other is kill and once you hit on grab it will grab the uh, wi-fi network of your victim device and once you hit on kill it'll start diverting the packages uh, it's a bit more complicated it's still over my head how it works but basically it will stop the internet for the victim device and as you can see at the top right corner of my device the wi-fi counter shows zero which means the data transfer rates have stopped but the video is still playing but if i try seeking the video and as you can see the video just stopped playing which means the data is stopped on the device but let's further go ahead and check out let's open up the browser and let's try opening up google and as you can see the internet is not working and the person will have no idea what happened what went wrong it's a very strong app but if you want to disconnect it you can hit on the pause button over here it'll take a while to stop the service and once it stops uh, the wi-fi will again start working for device as you can see over here google did load up now i will not be going into detail into this app because this app does not have any other things this is the only feature this app has and it does it pretty well 
this app has a lot of positive and good uses let's say for instance you do not want people at your home to abuse internet or say for instance your son or your daughter exams are coming closer and they are not studying you can use that this app has more positive things than negative things so use your mind use it for positive things only share it with your friends so yeah that's about it if you feel this video was interesting and helpful in any means please give it a thumbs up that really helped me a lot and do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting android videos like this in case if you have a question which you think i can answer hit me up on my facebook page the link to that will be down in the description until then i'm your host hk from the android guy signing out you guys have a great day peace